Hey guys, I'm Arthur and today we're running down everything you need to know about conflict zones in 60 seconds. Start the timer. Settlements owned by factions that have entered the war background state can become conflict zones and will remain that way until the war is resolved. You can choose to take part in a conflict zone and fight for either side of one of these warring factions. After signing up to a conflict zone, fly there in your ship, drive there in your SRV, or arriving style via the dropship which you can pick up directly from the Frontline Solutions desk. Conflict zones are 12 versus 12 battles with each side comprising of both players and AI. To win you will need to deplete the enemy reinforcements, either by killing their troops or by capturing the vital comms points located around the conflict zone. If you win, not only will you receive a bonus, but your victory is added to the simulation and contributes to the outcome of the war. Returning from a conflict zone is as easy as how you arrived, either via your ship or SRV, or simply recall the Frontline Solutions dropship and head back to the planet or starport you came from. You can trade your combat bonds for credits. You'll get combat bonds for every enemy that you kill. The value of those combat bonds scales to the rank of those enemies. If you die during the conflict zone, don't worry, you won't lose any of the combat bonds you have acquired. And that's a wrap. Thanks for watching and please remember to share your war stories with us as we explore the Elite Dangerous Odyssey Alpha.